I've spent the last two weeks gathering every pet in Hypixel Skyblock, and I'm finally up to the rarest pet in the game, the Skarda. You get it by mining stone in a tunnel, but the drop rate is so low it'll take me approximately 20 hours to get it. I planned a live stream for people to watch me mine stone for 20 hours. To make it more interesting, halfway through I'll have a guest on that's supposed to be interviewing me, but I'm going to try and give the strangest answers possible and try to make him leave. And so, the stream began. Welcome to the greatest stream of our generation. Please wait for the definitely real timer to count down to zero. Dragoon is currently very busy fighting off lying dinosaurs that breathe lasers. I'll be your guide, Dratoon. Dragoon was born in a Bunnings warehouse. He fended for his life in a Bunnings warehouse and he hates Bunnings warehouse. Dragoon's about to join the stream. Come on, someone play his music. It's not working. Just buy the music. Dad, just buy the copyright. Hello everyone, I am Dragoon, and I'm about to mine for 20 hours. Straight away I was answering chat's questions. Someone has five types of cancer and wants me to pay for their surgery. Just eat some uh, avocado. It's a superfood. It probably fixes it. And then the interviewer showed up. Not ready for my secret plan. Hello, KD. Am my long lost brother I haven't seen for 57 years. How are you? <laughs> I I'm amazing. I heard you have a little gaming YouTube channel. Has 300,000 subscribers. Yeah, that's kind of my, my side hustle. My main thing is Ryan's tour reviews. He asked me what the secret to being popular on YouTube is, and I told him. You make a YouTube video, you see. Here's the graph of click through and then you get no views. He was already a little weirded out, but I had to go further. Time to break out Dragoon's gaming setup tour. Kmart keyboard, a Kmart mouse. Uh, I have RGB fans, of course. I've got like an op shop chair. I have three dollar Kmart speakers and the headphones I'm listening to in. Eleven dollars. At this point, he was questioning if I even was Dragoon. It was time to explore my Twitter account. You have a Twitter account. I do, and if you look at exhibit A, it's, it's, it's plain. The Rock Johnson, because he's he's a plant grain. The Rock Johnson, praying The Rock Johnson, David Blaine. Ah, oh, and then I went a little bit um cyclohexane. The Rock Johnson, Duane. All this time I was mining tunnels. I'd gotten a few scarver enemies, but none had dropped the pet. And the interviewer was still here, so I just started saying weird things. People tracked my sleep schedule to tell when I was waking up. Dinosaurs are older than humans. Fun fact? Reinfleisch Etiketierungs Überwachungsaufgaben Übertragungsgesetz. I might quit Skyblock and become a Don't Shoot the Puppy chat. He still wouldn't leave. I don't know how to make him, so I just started a long, pointless story of my life. I was actually going to be a pro soccer player, not a YouTuber. In first grade, I played a lot of soccer in school, but I never scored a goal. In second grade, we finally got to use calculators, and I was obsessed. I saw the huge potential they had. Third grade, I got expelled for throwing calculators at people. Fourth grade, I sailed around the world on a walrus. Fifth grade, I got back into soccer, full time. Screw schooling. What could geography teach me that the unrivaled thrill of scoring a goal could not? And that's the year I got my first goal assist. Goal assist. Now, I can't remember what transpired between sixth and eighth grade, but the one thing I remember vividly was that one time I didn't score a goal. Um, then in the ninth grade I got a graphics calculator. You could do complex maths and you could play like games on the calculator. There was Pac-Man, Hangman, and soccer. I wasn't very good at it though. I never scored a goal in uh, calculator soccer. Tenth grade I was tired so I didn't go to school that year. Eleventh grade I thought I'd change it up. Play some Australian football and I was amazing. I could jump and mark the ball better than everyone. Tackled hard and ran for hours on end. But I didn't know my left from right so I scored in my own team's goal. What number's next? Twelfth grade. My peak of soccer career. I trained every day. It was the fourth game of the season. The goal was open. I closed my eyes, breathed in, and then my phone notified me that I had 13 subscribers and I quit soccer forever. I just knew it was time. This continued for three hours. I talked about higher education, my past lifetimes of not scoring goals, and he just kept listening to me. Instead of making the interviewer go away, he wanted to stay to hear my rambling. I needed an excuse to end the stream, to run away. Oh, every three hours we uh, play a song. How could I forget? Uh, how about... And so, Dragoon could no longer stream, but even still, he continued to mine. He was partway through the cave, when an ice dragon attacked him. Dragoon charged and said, ice dragon, more like mice dragon. Then the entire planet Mars crushed down onto him. Dragoon grabbed it and broke a shot put world record. Then all of a sudden, 1500 Scarvers attacked him. He charmed them with a single wing and they obeyed him. He ordered them to fall into lava. And one of them dropped the Scarver pet. He had done it. I swear, Dragoon got the Scarver pet, for real. I have been Dratoon. 
Good night. I ended the stream and I was finally alone. Though I still hadn't gotten the Scarva pet, I needed a brand new approach. Maybe the Scarva wants to feel special, to be the final pet. There are four other pets I still haven't gotten. If I get the remaining four, then I can finally search for the Scarva. Pet 1, the Ammonite pet. Ammonites are an extinct species of sea mollusk older than dinosaurs. In fact, they're almost as old as your mum. <laughs> I started this in the last video, so it's done in the forge now, and I have the Ammonite pet. Pet 2, the Armadillo. Armadillos are most well known for having cool Pokemon based off of them. I have an Armadillo egg, I just have to walk thousands of steps to hatch it based on rarity. I've already walked 20,000 steps with my eggs, so it's either epic or legendary. I have a 50% chance of either. I'll get this pet just as I walk along getting the others. Pet 3, the Golden Dragon. Golden Dragon. Last time I found the Dragon's Lair, I was too poor to adopt a baby Golden Dragon. After pretending to have cancer, I raised enough money on GoFundMe to afford it. I just have to find the Dragon Lair again. Buried somewhere in the Crystal Hollows. After five minutes, people started doubting me. Magical forces were blocking me. They said my videos suck, which is exactly what I told them to do. Please insults only. No compliments if you see me in game. I dug through tunnels and explored larger tunnels. Hmm, I think I took a wrong turn somewhere. I must be in the wrong dimension. I really wish I was playing Don't Shoot the Pub. Instead. The Crystal Hollows are split into four main sections. The Dragon's Lair can only spawn in the Mithril Deposits, which narrows it down to a quarter, but it's random chance if it spawns at all. What percentage chance? A rare chance. So I can take 30 minutes searching the Mithril Deposits and it isn't even there. There's no Dragon Lair. Then I have to join a different Crystal Hollows and look again. The only thing on my side is and sound and the dragon roars if you get closer and on my seventh crystal hollows i heard it the dragon's roar now i just have to narrow down where it is also known as spinning in circles frantically mining everything i could smell it the scent of stealing someone's child from them to show the internet that you're good at a video game the smell of justice finally my second time in the dragon's lair i would like to sit here and admire it for a while but i could disconnect at any moment so i have to hurry here they are 500 million coins plus perfect gemstones it's so cute! Only 0.02% of players have done this. Time to level him up. I'll go fight some zealots. Oh, there's already a dragon here. Come on, fight me! Dragoon vs. Dragon! I'll chase you to the ends of the earth! It didn't give combat XP, but Zealots did, and now my dragon is level 2. Collecting from minions got it to level 63. At level 100 it hatches, and at level 200 it reaches maximum power. And now, I only have two pets left. Part 4, the Ender Dragon. I want to show you a secret. If you come to the spawn of the end and go off to the left, then land on this specific platform, throw a pork chop into the void, say Gila Ok Prenumerera, and have 600 million coins, you can just buy the Ender Dragon. Now I have both of the dragon pets, over 1 billion coins together, only one pet left. You don't know how much I want to just... Just buy the Scarva pet and be done with it. But I will get this properly. I started this quest over a month ago and the ending will be satisfying. I'm actually going to mine for 20 hours to get the pet. You better like and unsubscribe. The five stages of Scarva mining. It probably won't even take that long. I've got a lot of magic find. I bet it'll only be two hours. I'll watch some Lord of the Rings to make time pass quickly. Look, I've already got my first worm spawning and a Scarva. This will be easy. God damn it! I cannot believe they missed second breakfast! Also, none of them are dropping anything good. Hey, how about one of you viewers come mine for me? If I get a thousand of you to mine for one hour each, you'll definitely get it. And then technically, I got the pet because I told you to do it. I think I'm starting to understand politics. This is terrible. I've finished Lord of the Rings. I have to go watch the Hobbit trilogy now. There are three truths in life. Legolas is overpowered. The only thing better than Tuesday is potentially Thursday. And I am not getting the Scarva pet. I've killed 92 of them and no drops. I've been mining for so long and I have no idea how much longer it would take. I can't do it. I just have to buy the pet. But this video needs a satisfying ending. Something amazing. What's the greatest thing I could do? Don't shoot the puppy. More like obliterate the puppy. Die, you piece of shit.